We're here at the Musquash Esker Trail for the first Down East Lakes Land Trust virtual hike. The Musquash Esker Trail is located about 5.5 miles from the center of Grand Lake Stream. As a precaution to prevent the spread of COVID-19, we ask that hikers bypass our trail register system for the time being. DLLT is working hard to make the Musquash Esker Trail a universally accessible one. Please pardon our appearance as we work on this goal and objective. Without leaves on trees, sometimes it can be a little bit hard to identify different specimens. This one is a unique example of a bark that makes it relatively easy to identify this species year round. It's something called a paper birch or white birch, and it's a hardwood tree that grows along this trail. On this trail, we have a popple tree, which sometimes can be confused for the paper birch, but this is an example of a tree about the same size as that other one. Here we have another fine example of a tree in the Betulaceae family, which has the birches and the alders. Anybody have any ideas of what this tree might be? This tree is called a beech tree. Something pretty unique about it is that it has these leaves that stay on through the entire winter that have a sandy color to them, hence their common name of beech tree. In the spring, as the buds grow, they'll push out the old leaves to have a whole new set of leaves for the spring, summer, and then will fall off in autumn. This tree right here is one of my favorites and it's actually on the bigger side of its species. It is something called a striped maple. It gets its name from on the bark having these green and black stripes all along its entire trunk. I grew up knowing it as something called moosewood maple because it had big leaves like a moose's hoof print. This trail is 1.4 miles long and follows an easy level grade along a glacial esker, which is a long narrow ridge formed by melted water streams that ran beneath the ice of a retreating glacier. It ends at Big Musquash Stream with views of the spectacular musquash at wetlands. Part of the trail is within the Amazon Musquash Ecological Reserve, a special area that is left unharvested and untouched by management activities with limited motorized use and a more wilderness feel. We got some tracks here. Can anybody tell me what it's from? I wonder where it's headed. Maybe it's looking for food. What do you think? This looks like the perfect kind of a nook for grabbing a book and reading or maybe even taking my nature journal and making some notes in it. It looks like I got me here a sign very old sign of a beaver, Castor canadensis. They have ever-growing incisors or front teeth that when they chew on the trees helps to file them down a little bit. They use these trees to help make their dams and their lodges. I'm really excited for the warmer weather because that means my favorite animals reptiles and amphibians will be coming out. They're something called ectotherms, which means that they rely on the ambient temperature to control their body heat. So whatever temperature it is outside, that's about the same temperature that that turtle or snake or salamander is going to be. This here is one of my favorite conifers. 
it's something it's something called a white pine and you can kind of tell with its needle bundles usually so a needle bundle you can kind of see where my thumb is where it comes off of the little branchlet here usually these needle bundles come in about four or five as opposed to the red pine which usually has about two or three pine needles in its, each of its bundles so the white pine one of my favorite conifers around here we have some scat. What animal do you think left it? Scat can be helpful to researchers because they can study it to learn what animals have been eating. What do you think this animal has been eating? Uh-oh, looks like I'm going for a swim. Do you have any goggles at home I could borrow? Ah, check out this rock. It looks perfect for skipping. Do you hear those birds? Did you know that musquash means muskrat in Passamaquoddy? Passamaquoddy is the first nation that lived in this part of Maine. Like a podium, like a podium. If you kill just one, like a podium, then you kill them all, like a podium. Did you know that this like a podium is as big as it's gonna get? A like a podium is something also known as a club boss. Who can tell me what the difference between a deciduous tree and a coniferous tree is? Look at this Usnia longassima or old man's beard. I'd never seen it before until I came to Maine. Science is important, but so is history. Did you know that the Musquash Esker Trail used to be the road that went from Grand Lake Stream to Talmadge? More club boss. <sighs> this is a good spot for snacks. I don't know if you can tell, but that moose print is almost as big as my foot. It may not look like much, but what we have here is a river otter latrine site. Lantra canadensis are a species that really likes to be in and around water. When they come up out of the water onto the shore, they'll make these latrine sites to mark out their territory. If you ever get the chance, Google otter scent marking. They do this really funny little dance when they come out of the water and scent mark. That's the Musquash Esker Trail. Thanks for joining us on this great hike. We hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out the Musquash Esker Trail for yourself the next time you're in the Down East Lakes region. To find out more information about our different trails, you can visit www.downeastlakes.org.